Okay, there's more to my last video that was revealed to me, all right? So let me go over a couple things real quick, and then we're going to get to the new information that is mind-blowing. So in the book of Genesis, which is the beginning, we know that Isaiah 46.10 says God declares the end from the beginning. So now we're going to the beginning. Abraham is the type of shadow of the father. Isaac is the type of shadow of the son, Jesus. Okay. Now at age 26, Rebecca, who he would later marry, was born. So he was 26 when she was born. Now this is linked to 26 AD, when Jesus Christ starts his ministry. Okay? Then at age 40, Abraham marries Rebecca. I meant to say Isaac. Isaac marries Rebecca. Now this 40 is 40 Jubilees, which is 2,000 years from 26 AD to 2026 AD. Okay? And it says that she was 14 years old when they got married. Well, if you take it back 14 years from 2026, you get to 2012. 2012. Think about it. That is when the Mayan calendar ended. They made movies about 2012. Remember how in 20, you know, 2012, everything's destroyed. The Mayan calendar ends. The end of the world. All that stuff. Well, it's the end of the world, but actually it's 14 years later, 2026. That's when it begins. That's the beginning of the end. So you see how all these ages are telling us the last days here? And another thing that I showed you is that he married Rebecca in 2025 BCE. See, now that's our rapture. 2025 BC, he married Rebecca. 2025 A.D., we get married, you see? Now, you might be asking, well, if the 40 Jubilees is from 26 A.D., it takes you to 2026, not 2025. But you have to remember, after the cross, there was an extra year given to Israel to repent. They did not. So I believe that that is where that extra year comes from, a year layover. Now, this is all so amazing to me. Now, Genesis chapter 25, verse 20, is when it talks about their marriage. And 2520 is obviously 2025 backwards. And 2520 is exactly seven Hebrew years. 360 days in a Hebrew year, 360 times seven is 2520. So this, this is all how God declares the end from the beginning. So Isaac's age and Rebecca's age is also, if you add them together, 66. And there's 66 books in the Bible. That's pretty crazy. But you want to know something even crazier? Is that if you add 66 plus the 14 years old that Rebecca was, it's 80. What is 80? King James 1611 had 80 books and not 66. But they were taken out, called the Apocrypha. I have that. And Psalms 90 verse 10 says that a generation is 70 years, but 80 if it's strong. Wow, wow, right? I'm telling you guys, now watch this, watch this. This is crazy right here, this is crazy. If you take the year 2026 and you are fruitful and multiply 20 times 26, you get 520. If you now listen, if you get, if you look up the number 520 in the concordance, Greek, it's to lead away and to kill. Okay, so that's if you multiply 20 times 26. But now, if you just look up the number 2026 in the concordance, you get the same thing to kill and slay. That is bizarro world. Let me explain that again. If you multiply 20 times 26, 
you get 520 in a concordance Greek. And it means to lead away and to kill. But if you don't multiply it and just look up the number 2026 in the concordance Greek again, you get the exact same thing. To kill and slay. That is the beginning of the three years of darkness. 2026, 20, 27, and 28. Look up those numbers in the concordance. They're all slaughter. And then 2029, 20, Christ comes back. And if, if you look up these years in the Hebrew years, which is 5786, 5787, and 5788, it's all blind, blind, and blind. So it's slaughter, and then it's blind. Those are the three years of darkness because God turns days into years. But 2025, we're out of here. Now look at this. As I've shown before, 20 times 25 is 500, which is God ascends. That is us. God is in us, the hope of glory. And that was the man-child in Revelation chapter 12. God ascends. But it is also in the Greek, Antichrist. That is when the Antichrist is revealed. And then the slaughter begins in 2026. This is all too crazy for me. These patterns, you can't even mess with it, man.